In this video, I'm gonna take you through using the scenes and building a song inside the program. I'm gonna cover all the basics of what you need to know to get up and running right away to start your beat. Let's go. Scenes are a collection of your sample, drum, and instrument sequences. They are a vertical slice of your song. For example, intro, main beat, or chorus of your song. Each sample, drum, or instrument deck that you add will have a sequence belonging to each scene. The scene player gives you the option to add drums, samples, or instruments. When you click on any of those tabs, you'll be given a blank deck that you can populate with drums, audio samples, or instruments. For each of the decks, you will see a speaker icon next to the name of the deck. The speaker icon is for mute. When you press it, you will mute the deck. If you want to solo the deck, hold down shift and the mute speaker icon will turn to a S. S is for solo. When you click on S, you'll be able to solo the deck. You can also change the size of the grid for note recording. You can also clear all notes if needed. Please note that mute is not scene specific. So if you have a deck on mute in one scene, it will be mute in the other scenes too. If you want a deck to be quiet in one scene but not another, clear the sequence of the deck in the scene that you want to remove it from. Alternatively, you can use automation to make volume and parameter changes across an individual scene. All scenes are one bar by default. It is possible to expand scenes up to 32 beat scenes in length, which is eight bars. At the top of the sequencer, there's a tab to increase and decrease the number of bars. When you increase the number of bars, the notes for each of the decks you have in the scene will duplicate. Once duplicated, you can go to each bar and make note changes. Scenes can make up sections of a song. For example, scene one by default will be the intro to your song. You will see the scene pads underneath the sequence player section. To add additional scenes, you can click on an empty slot and be given two options. The first option is copy, which will allow you to copy the previous scene that you're working with. The second option is empty, which will give you an empty scene to start adding in decks of your choice without any previously written notes. As you make new scenes for parts of the song, like verse, chorus, bridge, breakdown, drop, and outro, you can double click on the scene to rename it to whatever part of the song it is. To expand the view of the sequencer, click on the collapse deck button in between the drum, sample, or instrument deck and the sequencer to see the sequencer in a wider view. The drum, sample, or instrument deck will disappear when the sequencer is made wider. To return back to the original view of the drum, sample, or instrument deck and the sequencer, click the expand deck button to the left of the expanded sequencer. Once you have all your scenes created, you can create a song in Song View. To get to Song View, click on the tab to the right of the library. Once in Song View, you can click and drag on a scene and drop it into the timeline of the Song View. As you start to populate the Song View, you can zoom in or zoom out on the timeline. In the top right corner of the Song View, there are zoom in and zoom out buttons that will allow you to zoom. To play the song, press the play tab. Pressing it a second time will stop the music. You can also move the playhead along the timeline to play the song from a specific point. As you build your song, you'll notice a live updating waveform display in the master track as you play it through. This is to give you a visual reference of your song, so you can see if it's too quiet, has too much bass, or just easily to identify each part of the song. You can select the master track to see an even larger version of the master waveform. 
This is also where you can apply mixer settings, effects, and plugins to your master track. As you do this, you'll see the change of the waveform in real time. Song structure generally repeats in 4, 8, 16, and 32 bar phrases, depending on the style of music that you're making. For example, in most hip hop songs, the intro is generally 8 bars, the verses are generally 16 bars, the choruses are generally 8 bars, and the outros are also generally 8 bars. These numbers can generally double for house music and other styles of dance music. Once you have completed the song in Song View, you can go to File to export the song. The song will export as a 16-bit, 44.1 kHz WAV file. You also have the option to export files for each of your decks. This option can be found when you click on Export Song in the File tab. Files will be exported as 16-bit, 44.1 kHz WAV files. Exporting stems is useful for taking your song and continuing to finish it in another application. Or if you need to send your song to a sound engineer to get mastered. All right, that's how you build scenes and build a song inside of Serato Studio. Have fun creating music. And make sure you visit www.serato.com forward slash studio to learn more.